The fourth edition of the Kaduna Festival of the Arts grew bigger with participation from some West African countries in this year's edition. Our spotlight is on Ghani Atsani, the founder and chief executive of the annual event. Do enjoy. myself passionate about arts and I didn't have background knowledge like maybe educational you know knowledge about art I didn't know a lot I just knew that I was passionate I loved it like it made me feel like I felt like I could connect with art but that's why and fashion as well because fashion has just been something that I enjoy like it's very it's very something it's something that I like to do I like fashion I like the fashion industry I like models, like the whole fashion shows and all of that. So um, I now decided, okay, why not start something that's maybe promote, since I can be, I mean, I can be a fashion designer myself and I can be a, um, an artist, but I choose to support artists and fashion designers because I mean, I feel, it just feels good to be supporting them by providing a platform and um, to grant them more visibility, especially from where I'm from and where I reside. I reside in um, northern Nigeria, Kaduna, and you know there isn't many platforms that you know present these opportunities. So um, yeah, that's why I decided to start this. And ever since I started, I've been learning on the job, meeting people, doing research, reading, going, attending festivals, shows, you know just to gain more knowledge, network, and meet people in the industry. I mean, it's a dream. Sometimes I have to pinch myself like, wow, you know, Kaduna really, how often do we get international, you know, creatives coming here? So it's like, it's been, it's, it's been so, you know, exhilarating bringing in these people here and I'm like a, a part of that, you know, it's really nice because I've always been passionate about promoting positive narratives of Kaduna and um, this is an opportunity to bring people here for them to, you know, tell the stories that themselves that of what they came and saw in Kaduna and how, you know, they were treated or how they were felt safe and all of that. Yeah. So it's been real, it's been great, and the fact that cultures from different places can come here, recognize themselves in one another, you know, they, a lot of the exhibitors that came felt they could, they, the things they were seeing here was reminiscent of where they're coming from, which felt, made them feel like they were not really so far from home. So for my challenges, um, I've experienced really a lot of difficulty raising funds, especially in, for anything. I mean, I noticed that a lot of sponsors, supporters, really, they don't really look into what can be supported in Northern Nigeria. They really just concentrate in the capital. And I wish they could see the potential of accessing, you know, I mean, for brands, they can ex access markets in Northern Nigeria because Northern Nigeria is, is the most populated region in the country. So, you know, we could use that opportunity to, you know, support brands like us and then we can, you know, we can, they can be our sponsors as, as well. And we, can, we also have, um, yeah, as well as organizations, because this year we were supported by the European Union. Um, we, we won a grant that, you know, is supposed to be for, serve as a structuring, you know, it was part of a structuring program for cultural and creative um, industries in West Africa. So we were supported by the EU, Corey Cultural Center, um, AC, under the ACP Cultural Program, supported by the Institute Francais. 
and um, yeah, and yeah, and the ACP as well. So those are the only like major funding we've received so far, and we've also experienced challenges like, uh, for instance, a marketing gap. We don't have a lot of marketing agencies that can propel what we are doing to a global audience or, in fact, even a national audience. We need more like. We don't have that, we don't work, we don't have a lot of those platforms working, accessible to us to even reach out to, to work with.